Hey, welcome back everybody to the Pen Hut YouTube channel. Today we're going to follow up this video of the Coico Brass Sport with the Coico Brass Lilliput Waves. So I'm just going to put them next to each other so you can compare their size. The Lilliput is actually smaller than this already small pocket pen. But take a look at this. How cool is that? It's tiny. Obviously, you'll notice that this, just like the other pen over there, um, does not come with a uh, clip. Um, I know you can get one for the Brass Sport. Uh, they don't really, they're not as secure as if it was part of the pen, but if you need one for whatever reason, you like to clip it to a notebook or something else, it's a good way to go. So this is also, just like the other one there, there's a twist to remove. Except this one, when you post it on the back, um, you can see the little ridges there. So it actually screws to the back here. Sometimes they can be a little bit noisy at first when you're getting into it, but this one seems to be fine. And you'll see that it fits your hand um, securely. I have small to medium hands, so you know if you have larger hands, you might want to test one of these out before. Um, if this works, maybe this is too small, but you'll see how the section is right at the front there, so it almost forces you to write it uh, a little closer to the end there. Um, so it actually helps to extend the pen, make it a little bit longer than it actually is. Um, but this is also very comfortable. This is lighter than this pen. So for some people, if this is too heavy, um, but you like the style, you already have an all sport, um, and you want to do this instead, that's fine. Um, I don't know. I just like this one. Like the, even the finial, it's like carved in. Uh, you can't really see it there, but uh, the logo is carved into it, which is really nice and engraved. Um, this one uses the same the same nib that you'll see on the other one there. Um, so they're, they're, they're good nibs, um, like I mentioned before. Sometimes they're, they're a little bit scratchy, but that's something that you can fix, not a problem at all. Um, but I like this, and, and, and it's very unique, uh, especially this design. They're, the regular one is just a solid. Um, I like this one just because of all those lines. Um, that adds a lot of texture, you know, as it starts to patina. Um, and scratch up, get dinged, and everything else. Um, it's going to have a really nice, uh, really nice textures that are going to accumulate there. So there's not too much more to say about this. Uh, it is in the same price point as the uh, Brass Sport there. Uh, right in, they're within like ten dollars of each other. Um, but they're they're fantastic pocket pens um, in Germany. People love these things. Um, Koiko is one of those brands that everybody knows about, but I think sometimes they get underappreciated uh, once you get over the um, like $40, $50 range, only because there's so many great options uh, in this price point um, that they, they, they get overlooked sometimes. Um, but, you know, if, you, if you're a hobbyist or you like collecting, um, you like something a little bit more unique, I mean, this thing is fantastic. Um, it looks amazing. And actually, putting them side to side, um, there's definitely a use for, for either or, for sure. Um, I think this one's a little bit more classy, and this was a little bit more rugged, but whatever. You know, they're both fantastic pens. Same company, same nibs. Uh, both take the, uh, the international cartridge, which is nice. Um, they're just, they're nice, very nice pens, so... Actually, you know what? This reminds me a little bit more of what how shiny this was when it came out. So you can see how how worn this one is. Um, this is a brand new out of the box. Um, uh, this one is one I've had for mm, right around like eight months, and, and I love it. So definitely check those out. The Lilliput and the Pressport. Thank you.